her. Hello, everybody. And I just dropped my piece of made aside. Hello, everybody. This is Wamp Torx here. Today, we have got another episode of Building Fun for You. And I apologize that the last one may not have been up to a couple of your standards. It kind of rambled on for quite a long time. I'm sorry about that. And I wasted some time trying to figure out what to do. But now, see, I have beforehand plans and I know what I want to accomplish. All that good stuff. And all that good stuff is good. So, as you can see, we're in the building world from last time. We got our nice little minecart mine cart track. And we also have our stupid little boat with our good job villagers. That's a barrier block. Oh yeah, bury your blocks for the wind. Anyways, today we're just going to be doing a little bit more building in our building world. And it's night time. Where'd you come from, buddy? How about you uh, set on fire? Hee hee hee. Anyways, uh, the plans today are going to be finish up. Or not finish up. This is nowhere near finish. Do a little bit more work on my minecart thing. I plan to do a little bit of work on this in every video and create a little customizable mob spawner grinder thing with some command blocks. All right, let's just jump straight into this and start working on this. So first thing I'm gonna do is add a couple more leading in tracks. And I created a little space for us to do that right here. And we're just gonna Bam, ba bam, and it's gonna be the same setup as last time, where they all kind of, ooh, where they all kind of curve, bum, 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 curve, nope, curve in like, hmm, curve in like that. Oh my god, I'm so good at this, man. Curve in like that. And they're gonna just kinda go ahead and come in. You know, I'm just gonna keep this there. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Just, did, okay. Um, go ahead, switch that with our lever. Q, Q, Q said our butcher <gasps> a butcher just kidding i don't like butchers um burn and we're gonna go ahead and curve it down this way oh what a coincidence he died why would you just walk straight into that stupid zombie go ahead curve it this way Actually, you know what? That's a bit too far. I'm just gonna curve it this way here and then curve it on. Cool. So now we've got six different starting points for our track. I'll go into that little box there. Well, we have to do something in this box. What if we. Oh, God. What if we put some fire in the box? <laughs> hmm. It's like a little dispenser. Cool. And we've got all this stuff. What if we want to load the minecart with something? I think I should make a little control panel. with some command blocks. We're gonna say load with let me get a sing 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 I hate it when I do that. It's a sign, not a sing. Go the sign say loading panel. Loading panel. And we're gonna put 
zombies. No, wait. For the, sorry, for the first one, I'm going to put cows. Or maybe. Yeah, let's go zombies. And then you've got your lever. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to put the sign there. Zombies. And I think I'll be back with you in a minute after I've wired most of the command block stuff. And I will show it off to you. Hello everybody, your best buddy Wombat Torx is back. And I am going to show you how this whole thing actually works. Along with just showing it to you because it's pretty awesome looking. Got my control panel loading panel station here it loads also if you want zombies for example zombies is the one that i made uh, uh we'll make more later with different kinds of mobs zombies loads zombies into their respective places and you just pop them falls in pop them if there's a zombie still there he'll go back there and once it dies, whoa, well that's a little bit weird. Once it dies, he'll be able to fall in. You can put another one down there and he'll load up. And he can't go in because it's occupied. Then once that zombie dies, if, there, if he recently died, he still won't be able to go in. But if it's been empty for a while, he'll be able to go in and die. I've got a little bench here, which is really just obviously hiding some stone of the red variety and I call this a little it's a little network um, if I know there are three command blocks here one of them you can't see right now but it's there I promise you it's underneath this thing so this one zombies summons a zombie at those coordinates it's for that one oopsie and this one Summons a zombie those corners. Flip the lever up. Everything goes off. Flip the lever again. Bam. Everything gets activated. Three zombies appear. It's really nothing complicated. It's basic redstone. But if I go ahead and restore my previous setup of using benches. Like a little bench to hide the stone of the red variety. We can't just go ahead and fill this back up. Bam! You will suspect a thing. And if I... You can even do all three at once if you like. And it'll still work, but it's still a bit weird. Like, he'll get set on fire, and then they'll both go back and then crash into each other. But they just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, it does work. See, he gets stuck there sometimes, but then this guy goes ahead and should push him in. Yeah, see? pushes it in, and then he falls in and dies. See, it is a bit finicky, but, I mean, it's pretty cool right now. Uh, sooner or later, we'll provide loads and loads and loads of other customization options for this. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and clear out an area for our mob grinder tower. Uh, if I can just flatten it. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna actually probably speed up this part of me building it. Uh, so here we go.
All right, we're done building our little tree type brick type thing. And if you haven't noticed, this is gonna be like a little fireplace where they fall into and you can hit them with your sword and whatever. You'll be able to customize what kind of mob spawns, what kind of mob comes down. I'm gonna do all that with command blocks using kill at E to filter out types of bad mobs that we don't want. Got it, I'll show you later, but. What I was trying to do is there's a glitch in Pocket Edition where mobs just walk on to open fence gates like they're nothing. And apparently that doesn't work here in a full version. And so I guess we'll have to make a big, big, big spawning platform up here in the sky. And actually, you know, have mobs spawn. But it would look something like this. Hang on a second. Let me try and keep inventory oh ho, ho, I always do that. it's true okay let's pretend that I'm a zombie I'm just gonna be like I just got pushed down here from a very high place okay and I'm like ooh do 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 and then water pushes me I do like do 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 ooh wait hang on Actually, see, this is how you have to pretend like you're a zombie to figure out your problems. That's what you do. Anyways, let's pretend that I have a helmet on so I don't burn. Just because. And I was like, oh, I fell down here. It's like, oh no, the water's pushing me. Oh, 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 oh. And. Guys, this is Wombatorx. Signing off. What a long exit time. Oh, here we go.